This is the exclusive video you will only see here on Denver 7. The woman accused of forging signatures on the petition of Senate candidate John Kaiser getting arrested today. Denver 7 political reporter Marshall Zellinger got this exclusive video of her arrest, and he joins us in the newsroom right now. Marshall, she'll be spending tonight behind bars. Yeah, she's in jail until her first court appearance, likely tomorrow. I've requested a jailhouse interview, but based on her reaction when I was there during her arrest, I'm going to guess that she won't approve that interview. We have more on Maureen Moss's criminal history. It dates back to New York, going back to 1998. Uh, in New York in 1998, she pleaded down to attempted forgery for using her grandmother's credit card, charging thousands of dollars without her grandmother's permission, and she got five years probation for that. In the year 2000, she sold cocaine to an undercover officer, and based on court records, she got three to six years of supervised parole. And in 2005, unlawful imprisonment. She was there when a woman was held against her will in a home during a drug deal. For that, she served nine months. What she's arrested for today, 34 counts, felony counts of forgery. Ten of those based on our initial reporting. 24 other voters came forward to the Denver, Jefferson, and Arapahoe County District Attorney's offices and told investigators their names appeared on the ballots or on those petitions, I should say, and that they did not actually sign those. Moss is listed in jail right now with no bond. Again, none of this impacts John Kaiser's place on the U.S. Senate primary ballot, which registered Republicans should have start receiving in their mail uh, this week. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, Denver 7.